Hi there, this is Rosie from Buggy Baby. Today I'm going to be comparing Sleepyhead versus Dockertot. In the full length video, I'll be looking at both the Grand Sleepyhead and Dockertot and also the deluxe version of the products. So I'm going to start with the deluxe versions now. So here I have the Sleepyhead Deluxe Plus Baby Pod and the Dockertot Deluxe Plus Dock in front of me. And the first thing you'll say is, aren't they the same? And basically they are, apart from a few cosmetic differences, which we'll look at in a minute. Um, so you might be, first a bit of background, you might be wondering, um, you know, you searched for Sleepyhead online and it had come up with this name here, Dockertot, and wondered why. Well, quite simply, um, Sleepyhead underwent a rebrand in November 2020 and will now be known as Dockertot. So it's goodbye Sleepyhead, hello Dockertot. However, all the things that we loved about the Sleepyhead Deluxe Plus pod still remain. So let's have a look inside them and compare. So both the Deluxe Plus Pod and the Docker Top Dot come in the same um, plastic cover, um, which is a nice sturdy packaging, and you just zip them to get inside. So let's take off the little bit here with some scissors. And open it up, and we'll do the same with a sleepy head. So before we get into the packaging, I thought it would be useful just to compare what the brands both say on the reverse of the product. Um, as you can see, they both have this strap line that the uh, pod uh, and the dock are multi-cute and multifunctional and suitable for zero to eight months. So there's no differences in terms of the ages. Um, they're both lightweight and portable. And they both have this compliance to BS4578 for air permeability. Same over there on the dock so you know that it's going to be breathable fabrics for your baby and made in Estonia that's the dock and well it doesn't say the state of manufacture here but we know that Sleepyhead was made in Europe so fundamentally they're made in the same place. What also is useful is that the Sleepyhead obviously was compatible with the Sleepyhead toy arch and um, the dock is also compatible with the Docker Tot toy arch and the cabana kit. So if you buy a Docker Tot uh, and you've got a sleepyhead toy arch, that's not a problem, it's still going to fit. One thing that is slightly different is that on the Deluxe Plus Dock packaging, we have a warning, not for use in crib, never use in a crib or bassinet or other contained area. Um, this is not something that was evident on the sleepyhead packaging. So um, just to confirm that Docker Tot have made that very clear that you should only use a dock um, outside of the crib and under supervision. So now that we've looked at the back and the uh, facts and stats, let's open them up and see how they compare for their look and feel. Both of the um, dock and the pod come with this um, plastic holder, which is kind of useful if you want to transport your pod. There are obviously um, more robust um, carry um, accessories available too. So now we have the Deluxe Plus Dock and the Sleepyhead Deluxe Plus Baby Pod in front of me and we're going to do a little examine to see how they compare. Um, yes, they both have exactly the same label at the bottom telling me to remove the cardboard before use, which we'll do in just a moment. Right, let's take a tour of the pod and the dock from top to bottom or bottom to top. You can see that they both have these quick relief um, clasps at the end which allow you to create more wiggle room when placing your baby in the sleepy head or the dock. In terms of baby's lying area and the exterior of the pod and the dock, exactly the same. Nothing to differentiate them there. So your baby will have plenty of space. And in terms of the comfort factor, those lovely rounded bumpers that we saw on the sleepy head still feel great on the dock. Never mind the rebrand, why would you want to buy a Sleepyhead Deluxe Plus pod or a Docker Top Dot anyway? Well, the main reason is the comfort factor. They are fantastic places to dock your baby. You can see what Docker Dot did there. Um, when you're having a shower, someone else needs to look after your baby, have a little bit of tummy time, do a quick nappy change, um, anything like that and the bumpers will stop your baby from rolling, so a lot safer than placing on a bed, for example. And I can confirm that the bumpers on the dock feel just as lovely as they did on the sleepy head. 
going up and down the um, dock and the pod. They both come with this mattress. You can hear inside there, um, which is nice and firm for baby. So we talked through their similarities. What about the differences? Well, it's pretty obvious on this pristine white version. Um, the curly sleepy haired logo has been replaced by the more modern and graphical docker tot embroidery. So that's one cosmetic difference, um, but fundamentally they are the same. Um, what is exciting is that if you liked the colors that you had in the sleepy head, for example, the cream, um, strawberry cream, the cloud gray, the Wild at Heart collection, you can still buy this in the Docker Tot, but Docker Tot are also bringing through some really exciting new prints. So I'll just show you a few of them. Another very small cosmetic difference, which I've just noticed, is that the Docker Tot comes with this very small tab here, which isn't evident on the Sleepy Head. And as you would expect, where we have Sleepy Head branding on the zipper pulls, this has now been replaced with the Docker Top branding. So here are some of the Docker Top um, Deluxe Docks in the new William Morris print collection. So inspired by the UK's textile designer, these are very, very different and very, very beautiful. Um, as you can see actually, or not see, the Docker Top embroidery almost disappears on these um, beautiful and intricate prints. So you wouldn't really be able to distinguish it from a sleepy head. So guys, that in a nutshell was the sleepy head deluxe plus baby pod versus the deluxe version of the docker tot. Um, as we've seen, they are both suitable for the same age range, naught to eight months. They're both perfect for resting, playtime, tummy time, made from the same beautiful, comfortable fabrics. Um, the area, the baby's lying area is exactly the same, clasped at the bottom have some cosmetic differences on the embroidery and Docker Tot um, also offer some exciting new prints. Um, both retail at £130 at the moment. So if you're interested in either of these products, please visit buggybaby.co.uk. Thanks very much. Um, in this part of the video, I'm going to be taking a look at the similarities and differences between the Sleepy Head Grand and the Docker Tot Grand. So here they are in front of me in the beautiful La Vie en Rose print. In terms of the pictures, you've still got the cute little girl on the front. Um, the docker tot, which we have here on the front, um, is marketed now as the Scandian, Scandinavian Stage 2 dock. So that Scandinavian heritage is still very much in place. Um, and they've just taken a couple of words out from the original sleepy head tagline. So the Grand is marketed as the Stage 2 dock, which means it's the follow-up to the Deluxe version, um, obviously also available in the Docker Top branding now. And um, Stage 2 is 9 to 36 months, and that completely remains the same, whether we look at the sleepy head there at the top or the Docker Tot dock here at the bottom. So 9 to 36 months. I've now turned the Grands over so we can compare what the... Uh, blurb says on the back um, and we have here the sleepy head at the top um, unique lounging pod for tots yep same on the dock um, age 96 36 months we've covered fits most toddler and junior beds yep the same both say they've got a removable and washable cover and a portable importantly um, the sleepy head said the pod is compliant with air permeability standards and that remains too on the dock. The only substantial difference I can see is that here the do docker top grand um, is clearly made in Estonia where the, um, the manufacturing place of origin isn't mentioned on the sleepy head but we know that it's in Europe. And finally on the sleepy head packaging it confirms the size which is 600 mil by 1200 mil um, this isn't mentioned on the docker top packaging so we just have to open them up and uh, see how they compare won't we one thing i did want to mention is that on the sleepy head packaging um, we have this blank area here whereas on the docker top packaging there is more of a warning saying that it's not for use in a crib never use in a crib bassinet or other contained area 
So what would you use a grand dock or pod for anyway? Well, we just saw in the warning that you wouldn't use it in a crib. Um, you'd be hard pressed to actually get a grand inside a crib anyway. Um, the grand has always been about helping children make that leap from um, their crib to um, a big kid bed. And here we have um, on the sleepy head packaging, you know, stuff about helping the bed transition. And there on the dock as a bed guard. So the bumpers around the dock helping children feel secure while they make that leap to a bigger bed. Um, they're both great for lounging and relaxing and they're both portable too. So no differences there in terms of what Docker Tot and Sleepyhead perceive as the benefits. So now that we've looked at the facts and stats, let's open up and have a look inside and see how they compare. Here we have the Sleepyhead Grand and the Docker Tot Grand in front of me. Um, as you can see, they are exactly the same size. This may not come across on the camera, um, but I can assure you that they are exactly the same size. So that's all good. Um, they both have this mattress inside with a nice mattress cover. And feeling my way around the Sleepyhead. Yep, same mattress there. Unlike the deluxe version of the products, whether that's Sleepy Head or Docker Tot, the Grand um, doesn't have the clasps at the end. These are open and that remains the same whether we're looking at the Sleepy Head here or the Docker Tot here. So what are the differences I hear you ask? Well, they are purely cosmetic. So on the Sleepy Head, where we had the Sleepy Head embroidery here in this sort of curly lettering, this has been replaced with the more graphical moniker of the Docker Top brand. And this is reflected um, in the finer details as well. So um, on the Sleepyhead Grand, you had the Sleepyhead logo on the infant safe zippers. On the dock, you will now find, of course, Docker Top branding. So very, very subtle differences. I'm just gonna do a final feel my way around both of them and I confirm that they both feel exactly the same in terms of comfort and squidge factor so regardless whether you choose a dock or a sleepy head your growing child is going to really enjoy lounging in one of these and what's also good to know is that if you um, prefer a planer um, look then the all the colours and prints that you loved in the Sleepyhead brand are available in the Docker Top one too, whether that's strawberry cream, celestial blue, or something a bit more jazzy um, in terms of the Wild at Heart collection, for example. But what is good is that Docker Top are going to be bringing out their own prints and patterns, including the William Morris prints, and we'll show a few of you these on the screen for you. So, guys, that in a nutshell was the Sleepyhead Grand versus the Docker Top Grand. Um, fundamentally, no, no differences. They're manufactured both in Europe. They're both suitable for the same age range and um, made from the same high standard cotton and um, pass the same standards for air permeability. They both come with mattresses, mattress covers. Um, and the main differences are cosmetic, which as we've said before, are on the embroidery. Where and also on the zip pulls at the end. Um, they also retail at the same price. So if you would like to know about any more about these products, please visit buggybaby.co.uk where you'll find plenty of them to choose from. Thanks very much.